Prairie dog towns are very cool because prairie dogs are social animals. So they interact a lot with each other. They are in family groups and they do a lot of vocalizations. And just because they're the perfect size to be cute. Everybody loves prairie dogs, especially predators. They are the one item on the prairie that most everybody can and does eat. They're like candy bars of the prairie. Everything eats them. If one prairie dog spots a predator, they'll sound out an alarm, and the alarm will spread throughout the whole colony. The prairie dogs are one of the keystone species on the prairie, and through their activities, burrowing and vegetation management, they provide habitat for over 150 other species. Even animals that aren't directly consuming or eating prairie dogs use prairie dog towns because they clip the vegetation very short because it's important for them to have long viewing distances so they can see any of these things that are their predators. They need to have a good viewing area. What that does is that stimulates green grass growth and forb growth uh, because they're consuming more grass than forbs and so that forb growth is important for a species like pronghorn. And then the bison coming into these places because it's very nutritious at certain times of the year because it is being grazed pretty, pretty intensively. The bison tend to use the prairie dog colonies throughout the season. I would say the heaviest usage is in the fall after the rut the bulls will go and they will camp out on the prairie dog colony. With those high protein grasses created by the constant foraging, it actually increases the protein level in the grasses, and then also the high abundance of forbs. The forbs tend to store different minerals and create vitamins, a lot different, different stuff than is in most grasses. And so those high protein grasses and, and the abundance of forbs on a prairie dog colony allows those bison to put the weight back on and, and gain the nutrition that they need to make it through the winter. Prairie dogs right now only occupy about 2% of their historic distribution. The American Prairie Reserve has a lot of prairie dog colonies that are scattered kind of throughout. They used to exist in what we call towns, which are groups of families that live in all these holes on the prairie in thousands and thousands of acres. Very few of those large towns exist anymore. We're working to create large-scale prairie dog restoration over the prairie so that we uh, conserve prairie dogs and their behaviors in these large towns, but also to provide food for the, the predators to which they're important.